morning, everybody. Fervinini here, and today we're gonna be playing Crow Scare. Now, this game is by Arcade Kitten, the same creator of My Neighbor E9. It's not me, it's my basement, Sweet No Death, and Fia's Night Out. As you can see, I'm a fan of their work. Now, let's just go ahead and get into another game of theirs. New game. Warning! Should we go with the warning screen, guys? You have been warned. Let's go. Yes. I think that's all I need you to do right now. Wait, what? what who are you? How, how, what's already happening? Pick out the biggest pumpkin in the southeast patch. Chase away all the birds and check on Haley. Okay. After that, come talk to me again to figure out what to do next. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do, Dad? Oh, you're my daddy? Hmm. I'm going to sit here and rest. I have to save my energy for the harvest festival after all come on you can't even spare a little magic for me just this once magic what sorry rio you know i have to save my energy if i spent it all helping with the farm i'll have none left for the harvest festival but you're my little companion you can handle it right unless huh no yeah i am the champion <laughs> I can totally do it. I've done it before. You can count on me, Dad. I'll do it lightning fast, faster than you can cast any spells of yours. <laughs> I thought so. If you need help remembering what to do, just come back and ask me. Or, you know, you could write it down in that journal you got there. Or I got you. <laughs> I haven't seen you use it since I gave it to you. You better put that journal to good use! Otherwise, is what dad is trying to say why why would i write it down when i have you right here you could just tell me all right all right fair either way i'll be waiting right here yeah i didn't think you'll be moving very far <laughs> but i'll get it done now good boy i have another chore for you after so don't forget to come back to me once you're done got it <laughs> Awesome. Right off the bat, this is great. We're established. I'm real. That's my dad. And he told me to do something that I already forgot about what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, we don't have items. Um, why am I still so confused? Pick up the biggest pumpkin, chase away all the birds, and check on Haley. Okay, got it. Okay, so first, who's Haley? Are you Haley? Oh no, Haley. Have the birds been picking out all your straws again? Don't worry, I'll fix you up. Awesome! Adorable, all better. Oh, Haley, you're not a very good scarecrow, are you? Hmm, what else do I have to do? We have to go pick out the biggest pumpkin! Oh, snap. Yeah, this is very apparent to know which one's the biggest. Well, they both look the same size. A sizable pumpkin. You'll make a great jack-o'-lantern. Or a great pumpkin pie. Either way. Honestly, you can make it both. You'll be a great both. You can't go into town yet. I wasn't trying to. And then we gotta chase all the birds away. Oh, we gotta actually click on them. Boo! You don't scare me, kid. <laughs> Not the birds talking back. Whoa, you can talk? Yeah, what about it? Oh, no, nothing. I mean, I I've met plenty of talking birds before. I just... Uh, why are you hanging around my farm acting all shady? <laughs> That's kind of weird, isn't it? Look, kid, I'm trying to help you. Something bad is coming. What? What? You're actually trying to help me? Why? Huh? What is? You're looking forward to the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah. Why? Someone wants to ruin it for you. Worse than you could imagine. How do you know this, bird? But I think you're, if you're careful, you can make sure it turns out okay. Uh, all right. Why are you telling me this, though? Because kids like you are the ones who need better understanding of dangerous situations. But, heck, even some adults can't recognize that some birds are too big to scare. But you're just a little bird. Shut up! <laughs> but keep your eyes out, kid, and stay out away from forests, all right? Hopefully this is the only time we'll need to speak. So be careful. You don't want to have to see me again. <laughs> Was that a threat? Okay, now time for all the other regular birds. Roar! Yeah, that's what was supposed to happen. You ready? 
Ah, gotcha! Awesome! Who's next? Who's next? Boo! <laughs> that's what was supposed to happen! Excuse me, this is my house, not yours. Well, that's all the birds. Is there anything else I have to do? No, I think I got everything. Fotch her! I'm ready! Um, yeah, I did. I did. I, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. Did I not pick out the biggest pumpkin that we have? Is there more birds around here? This place is huge. Do we have bigger pumpkins? Or was I supposed to get both of the pumpkins? Ew, maybe they said the biggest together. Multiple, plural. Gotcha. Orange pumpkins are always the best ones. Don't tell the other pumpkins I said that, though. Dang. Okay, I think we're getting all the big ones. Sizable pumpkin. Whoa, you're perfectly round. I bet everyone's gonna be fighting over you. Ooh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. A sizable pumpkin. Look at you. I would I would have trouble lifting you if I wasn't so strong. Those look like all the biggest pumpkin in the patch. Do I have anything left? Actually, I think that's it. I should go tell Dad I'm all done. Foucher, now I'm for really dunny. Dad, Dad, I finished everything. All right, you're so fast. Already, you're so fast. I knew I could count on you. What do you need me to do now? Here, I packaged some mini pumpkins for you to bring to the library. They want to decorate the window steels with them. You know how to get there, right? Of course I do. It's the green building close to Main Street's entrance. They got all the yellow pumpkins in front now. That's right. You're such a smart boy, Rio. Of course I'm smart. I could take care of the whole farm by myself. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. You still get tangled in the hose every now and again. Well, that's just because uh, I'm small. Yeah, that's it. But I'll deliver these pumpkins lucky split. To the librarian, I said hi. Okay, awesome. Do we have to go inside? You don't have to go inside right now. Okay, we're off to town. Bye, Foucher. Oh, this, this is... Everyone has a scarecrow, huh? Or we just... This is just decorations. Can I talk to anyone? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Wait, which game came first? Because this is the people from the basement, right? Embry. Oh, hi, Rio. That's definitely the child from the basement, right? Nice outfit. You look, uh... What's it called? Sharp. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, I picked it out myself. You got great taste, Miss Oliver. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Hello there, Rio. How's your father doing? Wait, I actually completely forgot a lot about... It's not me, it's my basement. I'm definitely gonna have to check out my video about this. <laughs> nudge, nudge. He's good. We're preparing for the Harvest Festival. Is that why you guys are in town? No, we were just passing through. But since the harvest is happening... We're probably gonna stay in town for a few days. Well, I see you're with your mom and Dr. D, where's dad at? Dad is looking for someone who can fix the cart, is what I tell people. Uh, I mean, it broke down as soon as we entered town. At least we all have the festival to look forward to while we wait for it to get fixed. I remember this guy, barely, but I remember that face. Yeah. But even when there isn't a festival, you guys should stop in town more. I miss you when you weren't here. I miss you too, Rio. Maybe one day we can travel together. Aw, without us? <laughs> Why do you want to be included? We'll miss you too, you know? Gee, Embre, how come you get to have three parents? I'm just lucky, I guess. Yeah, real lucky. Rio, did you say something? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just thinking to myself is all. I'll see you guys at the festival. Have a great rest of your day. Awesome. Aw, I think these are the mascots. They're so cute. These two are always up to something. So adorable. Hey, what's goody? Necrotari. Hi, Rio. Rio, it's so good to see you out and about. Hello, Miss Mafuma. I like your sweater. Thank you, you're such a sweetheart. Rio, Rio, we were just going to get dinner. Do you want to come with? You're always welcome to join us, you know. That sounds nice, but uh, I'm running chores for Dad right now. Maybe next time. Aw, can he just do it himself? <laughs> I wanted you to come eat with us. No, not during harvest festival season. Dad, uh, he, you know, Dad can't walk. Aw, really? I didn't know that was the reason. 
Wait, for reals? I thought you knew. I didn't even know. That's why he's always floating when you see him. He floats? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought he did just did that for fun. Nope. He used some weird levitation magic to get around. Something like that. But whenever the Harvest Festival rolls around, he saves up all his magic energy to make fireworks show for everyone. He doesn't move around much to save up as much magic as possible. And that's where I come in. I always help him so he doesn't got to strain himself or nothing. Aww, so nice for you. Well, that makes sense, I think. But we'll still get to play together during the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, of course. I'm really excited. This is gonna be my first one. No way, really? Don't you like live here? <laughs> How come you never went to one before? Isn't it like a yearly thing? I remember coming here for the festival before we were friends. It is. I just, um, I'm always in bed for sunset, by sunset. Huh? That does seem a little early. I know, but farm work is tiring. Plus, dad says the nighttime can be dangerous. True. But he also has been saying he thinks I'm strong enough to handle any danger at night now. I'm really excited to be outside during the nighttime for the Harvest Festival, too. It's gonna be a blast! <laughs> oh, that's what we're hoping for, guys. In that case, I can't wait to see you there. We're gonna hope that's the case. I think the rest of these guys are just random NPCs. You aren't actually worried about that, are you? I'm pretty sure the old witch tales are just to scare kids. What witch tales? What are you guys speaking about? Can I talk to you? No. You gonna explain? Yeah, you're right. They're probably just trying to spook kids into getting home and stuff. Still, though, it's hard not to feel at least a little bit unnerved by it. What, what, can you guys explain yourselves? Can you, you can't explain- No, okay, so I, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna get explanation. Okay, what is this? The town general store. Whenever you come in here, Mr. Washu sneaks you a piece of candy from under the counter. Even when dad insists to him that you got enough sweets at home. The store isn't just candy though, it's got a lot of everything. But you mostly come here for the candy. You love it! Gotta love the candy! Oh yeah, they said with all the yellow pumpkins in the front. Now I'm gonna read out what, what else the rest of these stuff are. A clothing store. You're almost never in here. Anytime your clothes got a tear, you just patch it up. No use in wearing nice clothes on a farm after all. Truski. Anything on this way before officially- Oh, what is this? Who's this? A statue dedicated to the goddess Luciana. Luciana. Luciana is a goddess of nature. On harvest night, her chalice is said to fill itself with moonlight. In return for such a wonderful drink, Luciana grants a plentiful harvest season for everyone. Oh, okay. It's almost your day, Luciana. I can't wait to be able to celebrate the harvest festival with you. I bet moonlight tastes delicious. Okay, I wonder if she's going to come into play later on. What are the rest of these stores? Keisha's Bakery. Even though you've never been able to attend a harvest festival before, Dad always brought you back treats to enjoy the next morning. They always taste delicious, but you're excited to be able to get them fresh this time. Oh, I hope everything goes according to plan. Terry's Gardening Supplies. You shop here with Dad sometimes when you need to replace something on the farm. No matter the day or season, Terry always seems to have freshly cut, beautiful roses on display. You are sure he must be a magician of some sort as well, but he always denies the claim when you ask him. He's like, I'm not, I'm not one of those. <laughs> no way, you too? It was the strangest thing. A small black bird telling me to steer clear of the woods. Oh, that bird's telling the same thing to everyone, huh? I mean, I'm not really worried about it. No one ever goes in those old woods anyways, right? And I don't believe in those old superstitions anyways. Okay. What other stores we got? Town Pharmacy. You don't really come here a lot. Whenever you're sick, Dad just makes you some kind of health potion to take care of it. That is a life hack right there. What? <laughs> but of course, you can't always do that for everyone, so having a pharmacy in town is still helpful. In fact, you're pretty sure they buy health potions from your dad sometimes. Maybe if you learn to make them too, you can supply them with some of your own. Wow, literally having a magician as a dad comes in clutch. Oh my gosh, imagine like anytime you get sick, instead of going through the process of healing, you just take a health potion. Thank you again, Rio. No problemo. Oh, that's it. That, that's all I had to do in town. Instead, I went and did everything else. An empty wooden bucket. Why is that just 
doesn't matter. I did everything else except for what I just had to go and do. Da 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 da. Sky looks so pretty. I can't wait until I can watch the entire sunset for once in my life, Father. It truly is a sight to behold. After the harvest festival is over, you can sit here and watch with me every evening if you like. That sounds nice. Do I really have to wait until the harvest festival though? Can't I just watch the whole sunset with you right now? What is my sure hiding from me? I just think that the night of the harvest festival will make it all the more special. And I want your life to be full of as many special memories as possible. Don't you? Yeah, I guess so. How was your trip into town today? Did the library like the pumpkins? Oh yeah, they love them. Oh, and you'll never guess. I saw both Embry and Nekotari today. Really now? How wonderful. Yeah, Embry's so cool. I love when they're in town. And Nekotari? Oh, yeah, yeah. She was out with her mom, too. They invited me to dinner, but I told them you needed help here. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I would have let you go with them. You're good about getting home on time. I know, but I like eating with you, too, Dad. That's sweet. You're a sweet kid. Um, Dad? Can I ask you something? Of course. Seeing everyone out with their moms today, I was just wondering, do I have a mother? Are you gonna tell me about mom? Rio, we've discussed this before, haven't we? You don't have a mom. <laughs> what? What? I made you from straw. Oh, magic in a lock of my hair. Ah, gotcha. Why, the only difference between you and Haley over there is that you can talk. <laughs> That's your sister <laughs> this whole time. That's what you always say. Do you really think I believe that? Everyone may call you powerful, but even I don't think you can pull off magic like that. You sure about that? I guess you have no reason to believe otherwise. You're like, you're a breathing human being. I never, 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 ever heard of anyone being someone, bringing someone to life through magic. <laughs> you think I can't do it? If you can, then show me. I want to see you do it. No thanks, one kid is enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, is there anything else you need done before the sun is finally finished setting? Mm, well, I do need some mushrooms for a potion I want to make, but they only grow in the forest. I'll get them myself tomorrow. Huh? But dad, what about your magic? I thought you need to save up energy. <laughs> I can spare a little to go into the woods for an hour. I could get them for you, dad. That way you don't have to worry about it. No, no, I don't want you to. The woods are dangerous, you know. There's rumors of an evil witch who lives there. I hear she eats children, too. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet that evil witch people talk about is just you. Dead. Why is it like that? Dot, dot, dot. Wait, is it? Vosher? Dot, dot, dot. Don't make jokes like that. You made, you made Vosher go so serious he opened his eye. No, that's probably Foster in the woods being an evil witch. I already know. <laughs> so sorry, Dad. I, I didn't mean it. Mm, let me just close my eyes again. Ugh, really? Don't worry about it. It's fine. I relaxed. I'm done. <laughs> I can get them tomorrow. It's fine. Okay. And? And? I love you. <laughs> just, put a little, just put a little band aid on top of that. I love it. I love you too, Dad. It's almost time for bed now. Why don't we go inside? I'll have other stuff for you to do today. Or tomorrow. Let's get you to bed on time, and I'll see you in the morning. Alright. Bye! Dot, 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 dot. Dad's asleep. I can totally get those mushrooms. Why? Why? Dad's been saying himself that I've grown up strong enough to handle any dangerous things at night. You know, that's the father's part, right? fault right there, honestly. I bet he'll be extra impressed by me if I show him that I can go get the mushroom on my own. He did not sound happy about that though. And he won't have to waste any of his magic either. The forest is right next to the house, so even if I get a little lost, I don't think I'll be too far from home. Now all I need is a lantern. I don't know a lot about the night, but I do know it gets dark, real dark apparently. But whenever dad needs to see something in the dark area, he takes out an old lantern to keep things light. He even taught me how to use it. And it should be over... Ah, there we go. Now all I gotta do is get out really quietly. Okay. 
This sounds like a great plan. What could possibly go wrong? Whoa, this is the night? It feels so weird. If it's night, then that up there must be the moon. I wonder why I was trapped indoors. I feel like that would definitely be explained later on, you know? But, but, uh, just kidding. It's gonna be explained right now, huh? <laughs> what, huh? what happened? Ah, well, what is this? My, my head, this threads. What, what happened to me? Dad, dad, really, he, he was really telling the truth, huh? He knew that if I went out at night, I'll see that. I, I really am a scarecrow, but I don't understand. Dad, he always told me I was a scarecrow, even when I didn't believe it, when I thought he was just joking. So if this was never really meant to be a secret, why was I never allowed to go out at night? It's weird. I feel so different and yet, it still somehow feels like myself. What am I waiting for then? I'll go get those mushrooms. I mean, at least Rios is really happy. We love to see it. Anyways, off to get the mushrooms in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh, the bird. The bird's waiting for me. The bird. <laughs> the bird is like, ah, what I tell ya? What I tell ya? Hey, kid, be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that basically, that basically summons it up. Hey, it's you again. What are you doing here? Ain't it past your bedtime? Yeah, how'd you know? Mm. You should go back home. That witch they talk about, she ain't no joke. Oh, yeah? Just go home, kid. I will. I just gotta get some mushrooms for my dad first. But, you stupid! <laughs> Better get them quickly, then. Oh, my gosh. So, who's the witch? What is, is the witch my mom? Huh? What was that noise? Ah! Ah! Oh, I got torn! Th that, that was me. I didn't even feel it. I, I really am just all straw, huh? I, I, I see. This must be why I wasn't allowed out. If this tear was any bigger and my l whole leg might empty out. Whoa. No, no, it's, it's okay. Dad was gonna start letting me out at night for the harvest festival anyways. So then he must think I'm big enough to take care of myself. I won't be scared by some little scratch. I'm guessing maybe the harvest special, something's gonna happen for him to be able to turn into a real boy. But now he's messing it up. Is that is that what's gonna happen? I'll, um, or was, will he like, or was he never planning, or was his father never planning on make letting him live longer than the festival? That'll be dark. I'll just shove the straw back in, cover it up with some mud, then sew it back up once I get home. Yeah, that'll work. I can handle these things at night. And like this, even dad thinks so. Right? Hopefully. I hope so. Anyways, what does the sign say? Don't wander too far, as I start wandering further and further away. Oh, man. Where's the mushrooms at? They must be at the way corner. The woods are dangerous. Beware, the witch lives here. Is that what they said? The witch lives here. Oops, wrong thing right there. There you go. Um, where's the witch live? And am I going in the right direction? Right now, I think I'm just lost. I'm lost! Please help! Oh, what does the sign say? Don't stay in the woods too long. She's outside more than you think. What? Is, is, is there actually a person pacing, pacing around real quick? Let me see. Oh, it's the birdie! Are you following me? <laughs> no. Why would I do that? I don't know, man. You kind of acted like you were worried about me before. Shit, <laughs> you're imagining things if that's what you think. Why are you here, then? I'm not. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> Sundetti! I've never met a Sundetti bird before. A witch lives nearby. Tread carefully. Don't tell me literally the, the mushrooms is right next to the witch. Oh my gosh. A dangerous witch lives past this point. Best to turn back. Oh, just kidding. Then where's the mushrooms at? Something wicked this way lives. Who put up all these signs? What if the witch is not even... A pair of old boots. Oh, I thought those were legs. I got scared for a second. How does this happen? Walking around a forest without shoes would hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, can I actually click on stuff? Is there a bush? Just a bush. Just a bush. Is it just a bush? It's moving. Just a... It's moving! Why is the bush moving? Th this bush over here is not moving. Just, oh, just, 
it's just a bush okay but that one was moving where oh here it is the mushrooms look like you found the mushrooms <laughs> oh this bird who is this bird it's so adorable looks like you found them before i did we could have just went looking together you know can you just take your mushrooms and go home already i am jeez got him that wasn't too hard at all Ooh, ugh, what was that it sounded like a tree fell well, I, I got what I needed. I'll just uh, go home then. Oh, please don't tell me a tree fell in my path. I have a huge suspicion that a tree fell in my path. Oh, no. Oh, that noise. The tree fell or the trunk fell. H how am I going to get back now? Now, what's this? Oh, snap. Who, 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 who's that? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. You, 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 you're little scarecrow boy. That's new. Oh, oh, please don't, please don't eat me. I'm nothing but straws. You won't even like it. And he can't go back the way he came through. No path to return to. In cases like these, I think a bridge will do. What? Are you actually nice? There you go. What? Why are you acting like this? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm guessing I can trust her, but I can't trust my father. That's the instant thing, alarming bells that's gonna go in my head right now. And then she just leaves. So she's actually a nice girl, nice person. Da 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 I'm out. Or should I follow her? You should go home now. Okay. <laughs> Let's not question it. Dot, 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 yawn. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, son. Oh, good news. Huh? Turns out I don't have to go looking for the mushrooms today after all. When I was checking through the cabinets today, I saw some right in the front. I was certain we had run out, but I suppose I was just overlooking things. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 silly Dad. Tricks are for kids. You just weren't looking hard enough. Ha, 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 ha. They are the mushrooms you needed too, right? Yup. I got everything I need. See, I told you you didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, what do you need me to do today? I want you to make hay bales of the small piles of hay in the northwest field, chase away some more birds, and check on Haley again. You could do that, right? Yeah, I got you in the northwest. Northwest. Gotcha. You can always ask me if you forget anything and come talk to me again after you're done, okay? Okay! Hey, Haley! I like the name Haley for the <laughs> for the scarecrow. Something about Haley looks different today. Well, all your straw is in place, but... I'll see you later, Haley. What else do I have to do? Talk to my bird friend! It was real stupid what you did last night, kid! Huh? It's you again. Oh! Don't tell me that the bird is the witch! Because as soon as the bird left, the witch came. Or maybe the bird is the witch's friend. I don't know. You have a deaf wish. Are you talking about the witch? Is that who you wanted to warn me about the other day? Because you didn't need to. She, she was nice to me. She helped me get back home. That's because you didn't have anything she wanted. Huh? You were only strong fabric. No, no use in killing a stupid scarecrow. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're stupid. Cause you're just a kid. <laughs> so, be a good kid. And don't sneak out at night anymore. Okay, interesting. What are you doing? Get out of here! Roar! 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 Get out of here! Boo! Roar! And that's all the birds. Okay, so that's interesting. So I guess this, the, basically the game wants us to <laughs> be, could, could, you know, be confused concerned have trust issues because i don't know who to believe honestly do we believe our dad do we believe the bird or do we believe the witch who is good in this situation i don't know at this point don't even think about trying to jump in oh wait i thought you wanted me to make hay bale a pile of hay you know this is a little weird about after my discovery last night i won't think about it too hard <laughs> i won't think about it too hard let's fix you up these are basically all my insides. A pile of hay. Time to square you up. 
Awesome. That's all the little hay. Hmm, now what I do? Actually, I think that's everything. I should go talk to Daddy. Fodger! Fodger! I can't wait for the festival. I finished everything. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Hmm. Hey, uh, Dad? Yes, son? Um, can you tell me about the witch who lives in the forest? Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. Did mentioning it the other day scare you? You don't have anything to worry about, Rio. Even though we live quite near the forest, she can't get near here or the town. Really? Why is that? That witch, you see. She isn't just a witch. She's a crow, too. Oh, so maybe there was a little birdie! That's why we have so many scarecrows, don't you know? They help ward off evil spirits, including nasty old crows. Really? Then how come I always gotta chase the birds away myself? <laughs> I'm just, you know, training you <laughs> to be a future scarecrow. Evil tacker person. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's just because you're the best scarecrow there is. Mm, yeah, I am pretty great. But, uh, so there really is a witch then who lives in the woods and we're sure she's evil? Well, if she's good, I wouldn't know it. I have never seen her myself, if you can believe that. Maybe she really is just an old wives' tale. Or maybe it just means our scarecrows are doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. You aren't worried about it, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I I've never seen her before, either. So I guess everything's the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. If it's all right, I have a few extra errands for you. Yeah, of course, Dad. It's like you said, you can count on me. For starters, I'll need you to... Da da da. Da, can you do that for me? <laughs> yeah, I got you, Dad. Dad's asleep. Oh my gosh. How rebellious can I be? Can I not just wait for the freaking festival to happen? I'm just gonna keep going out every day? Don't psych yourself out, Rio. I gotta see her again. I have to thank her for helping me yesterday. And if she can't come to town, then I have to go to her. It'll, it'll be okay, just like yesterday. She found me pretty easily, so she can't live too far, right? Oh, little Rio. I don't know. Now they're making it seem like I can't trust the witch. Uh, hey, birdie. It's you again. Didn't I tell you to stay home? <laughs> hey, huh, you're not my dad. Yeah. And what would your dad say if he saw you doing this? Um, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm already outside. I just want to thank her for yesterday. That's all. If you had just stayed home, this wouldn't even be an issue. Well, what about you then? Doesn't seem like you're ever home at night. <laughs> Don't come at the bird like that. Yeah, whatever. You're not going to listen to me anyways, right? Fine then. Go on ahead. See if I care. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Who is a little bird friend? Dot, dot, dot. Is, is this way, right? Yeah, it has to be. I'm sure I'll make it there soon. What if it's like, no, we can't trust anybody in this? Huh? What's this? I hate you. 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 I hope you die. I hope you die because they kill you. Jeez, what's all this about? Is this a note for the, the witch? That's kind of sad. Fire would not burn our bridges. Fire would not burn, bring them together. What? Oh, snap. There's something missing. Light torch? Oh, wait. Fire would not burn our bridges. Fire will bring them together. Is there a certain like melody or not melody? Certain path we gotta do? This one? Oh, there's probably a certain thing we gotta do it in, right? Yeah, we gotta do it in a certain order. And I bet there's like something around here that tells you how to do it in a certain order. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna brute force my way through it. <laughs> Boom, just like that. Brute force my way! Another bridge. This witch must really love bridges. The bridge witch! A br- it? Br- a witch? No, either of those sound right. <laughs> um, was there really something else around here that I could use for that? I, maybe, I, maybe I just was supposed to just brute force my way through it. I don't know. But doing it the Nina way always works 50% of the time. Da 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 da. Oh, there she is. Hello? I'm back. Oh, 
the little scarecrow boy from the other night. How did you get here? I followed all the signs that said, don't go here, a witch lives up ahead. Yup, that's what I followed. Haha, <laughs> those silly little things. I never bothered to take them down. I have no idea who put those up. But yes, I suppose that's me. I am a witch. I suppose that's why I don't get many visitors. Well, except for you, it seems. What about you, little scarecrow boy? I've never met anyone like you before. What are you doing here? Oh, that's because I have something for you. Was this a flower for me? How sweet. What is this for? For helping me get home the other day. I would have been stuck in the woods if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much. Though, it is quite late for a visit. Do you always come out at night? Do your mom and dad know you're out here? Oh, um, my dad doesn't know. I would get in trouble if he did. And your mom? <laughs> I don't have a mom. I see. Would you like one? <laughs> Not would you like one, sure. Call me mommy. Huh? I apologize, that must sound so sudden. It's just, I've been alone out here for so long. Why, I can't even remember the last time I saw another person. And it's just, just, forgive me if I appear a bit emotional. It's just, I had a child once. But children don't stay children forever. That child grew up and left me here on my own. Was that Fosher? Are you my grandmother? Ever since I've been, well, having a bit of an empty nest syndrome, as you say, as they say. Your generosity and your kind smile just reminds me so much of my own little one. So, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to come back again. Why, you could come visit me every night if you like. I could make extra dinner to share, and you can help me cook or read in my library or play in the yard. It would be like having my little one back home again. Do you like that idea? Huh? Yeah! I really like that idea! Yeah! Let's do it! Wonderful. Well then, let me ask you one thing. What is your name? Oh, I'm Rio. What about you? I'm Venna, but you can call me Mom. <laughs> oh, we're just role-playing right away. Dear Journal, Dad got you for me a while, but I never used you up until this moment. It's not that I didn't want to. I just didn't have anything excited to be writing about. But now I do. The witch that people say live in the woods... I met her, and, well, she's my mom now! Crazy, right? During the day, I help on the farm and spend time with Dad, but when it's nighttime... Hey, Mother! I sneak out into the woods and visit Mom. I really like it. I help her around the house like I do with the farm, but it doesn't feel like a chore. She always has new stuff to find. Like, the first time I went there, I found... Oh, what? What did I find? Well, here's the inside. Please, forgive the mess. I'm not used to, well, any company at all. Had I known I'd be having a guest, I would have tidied up a bit. I think it looks great in here. Reminds me of home. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear it. Here, I'll prepare some snacks for you. Feel free to look around. Um, you can eat, correct? <laughs> because being made of straw and all, um, I think so. I never really tried it yet. <laughs> right. I guess we'll see. Make yourself at home. Aw, I love the- I love the witch! I hope you don't turn out evil. I really hope you don't turn out evil. It's so nice to finally have someone to talk to again. It's- it gets quite lonely out here, you know? Aw, so adorable. Kitchen sink is spotless. Table with a white cloth. It looks well kept. So we find anything wooden box full of unknown content. There doesn't appear to be any kind of way to open it. Okay, what about back here? I'm just gonna go through her house. Okay, don't mind if I do. An open book sitting on top of a drawer. Reading it, it says, To read and to write is a powerful tool that should not be overlooked. There is so much in words. There is power in words, but power is not all. There is sadness in words. There is joy in words. There is fear in words. There is comfort in words. There is sadness in the voice of my beloved, telling me their feelings have vanished. There is joy in the cards I received for my birthday, reminding me how much my friends care for me. 
There is a fear in the signs that tell me, danger, beware. And yet I always find comfort in the yellowed pages of a book. That's true. That is actually very true that words have a lot of power, have a lot of meaning. Grandfather clock, it's missing its hands. Is that telling? Um, is there anything we gotta do in particular in here? I don't think so. I think we just had to read that. Words. Oh, anything over here? A painting of a corral. A painting of someone next to a tree. It's an old storage room. I'll let you look inside, but I don't want you to get hurt. I have a lot of gardening tools and heavy furniture. I'll like to clean it out before I let you in, if that's all right. Uh, kind of suspicious, but that's fine. I'm not. I shouldn't be going in your house anyways like this. This door is different from the rest. Yes, that's my old son's room. The door broke one day, and we had it replaced. Bloodwood gives it such a nice red color, does it not? I'll let you in, but I'm afraid it's locked. I lost the key myself a long time ago. But there's nothing important in there anyways, so it's not a big deal. You sure about that, Mom? A cabinet full of ordinary household objects. I'm guessing this one over here, a cabinet full of objects, is her house, her room. That's my bedroom. I'll let you look, but there's honestly isn't much to look at. But my bed, really. Sure, Mom. Sure. Cabinet full of ordinary household items. This one in particular seems to be full of bathroom supplies. This is the bathroom? Yep. That'd be. That'd be an old toilet. You don't have to go. And why is it green? That's disgusting. A wooden box full of unknown content. There doesn't appear to be any kind of way to open it. An old bathtub. I mean, she got some nice. She got some nice out here. A stout bathroom sink resting in front of a dusty mirror. Both the cold and warm water run fine. Wow, she got running, plumbing, and everything, huh? A cabinet full of ordinary stuff. Yep, all the ordinary stuff in the world. Should we be concerned about anything that's been happening so far? Mmm, I guess not. Um, this cauldron? Oh, that's my cauldron. It can be used to brew potions and other things, but... Lately, I just use it to make soup for dinner. <laughs> Aw, she's adorable. Adorable! Now, what am I supposed to do here? You said you would get in trouble if your dad knew you were out here. Don't worry. I'm your mom, and I say it's okay. <laughs> I'm cutting you some. I'm cutting up some fruit for us. It's been a while since I had to share fruit with somebody. It's so nice to finally have someone to talk to again. It's quite lonely. Aw, you don't have to leave just yet. So, wooden chair with a wobbly leg. It's kind of sad, though, the way she's living as well. Um, at least stuff. Do I pick these stuff up? An old sack of hay. Oh, I thought for sure I would have to pick something up. Old sack of hay. What about this painting? Painting of someone next to a tree. Candle lit. Huh. Oh, what's this? What's this? I had found a big pile of hay sacks sitting in front of something on the floor. I wanted to get a closer look, but before I could, I hear mom say, Oh, Rio, I finished preparing everything. Come sit with me. Oh, I'll be right there. So I want to go eat with her. Wait, what was that? I didn't even notice. Well, I hope you like apples. They're in season right now, so I have a lot stored up. Wow, these taste delicious. Thank you, uh... M -m mom <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to saying that. <laughs> I'm sure. I know it's certainly been a while since I heard it. It feels nice. All my friends have moms, you know? And I never thought that one day I'll get to have one of my own. I understand. I never thought I'll be able to have a child again, and yet here we are. This seems a little too good to be true. You know, I would introduce you to Dad, too, but, uh... I have to figure out a way to do it without letting him know I snuck out at night. He always told me the nighttime could be very dangerous. But look at me now. Out at night and totally fine. Your father is right to be concerned, you know. There are many dangerous things at night, and even more so out in the woods. Really? Then why do you live here? Uh, because I'm stronger than all of them combined. <laughs> really? You must be a super powerful witch then. Uh -huh, you flatter me. But I don't think so. I'm strong enough to handle the things that go bump in the night, but not as strong as I'd like to be. How strong do you want to be? Because, like, my dad's a pretty strong witch, too. He brought me to life, after all. I can see that. If you want, I can ask him how he did it. Then I can tell you, and you can get as strong as he is. 
<laughs> That's sweet, but I think I'll be okay. I have my own plan to get strong, and it won't be too much longer before I can see it through. That sounds ominous. If you say so, I guess. <laughs> but if you change your mind later, let me know. <laughs> I will. That sounds so ominous, guys. I sat and finished the rest of my apples with her, and then I went home. She says she'll try to be more prepared for my next visit. Dot, dot, dot. Next time I visited her, I asked her about... Oh, ugh, that didn't work either. I'll never be able to make this potion. Sure you can. It isn't that hard. Why don't you try again? If you're feeling confused, you can always ask me for help. Okay. Yeah, I need help right now. How do I do it? I still don't get it. What order do I put the ingredients in? <laughs> it really isn't that complicated. You just have to remember a few simple steps. It's... Hemlock root before cobwebs. Cobwebs come before water lilies. Hemlock root comes before- Why did you say- She literally says it's not that hard. And it gives me a riddle. Just give me one, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look at this and analyze this. We do- Okay, we do browns cap, hemlock root, cobwebs, and then water lily. That's the order. Brown hem cob water. Gotcha. What? Hemlock root is also before brimstone, and brimstone comes before cobwebs and water lily? Oh, and of course, you need to put thristle in there before everything else. See, that's not too hard to remember, is it? She ruined it because she added all these extra stuff. I'm gonna see if I can remember this from heart, right? Sprint. Okay, something comes before everything else. Thristle comes before everything else. And then after thristle, um, hemlock root. Oh no! Dang it. I'm gonna have to write it down. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. Okay. Here we go. So it's Thristle. Then it's Brown. And then it's Hem. And then it's Brim. And then it's Cob. Then it's water. Boom, bop, bam, got it. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. It was just my memory. I suck at memorizing stuff, guys. Hey, hey, I did it. See, I told you it was easy. You'll be an expert potion maker in no time, just like your mother. <laughs> you think so? I made some potions with dad in the past, but he'll always only let me make really specific recipes. I think he doesn't think I'm ready for the more advanced stuff yet. How silly. At this rate, you'll be an expert in no time. Come over here now. Help me with these potatoes for dinner. I hope you don't mind the dinner has only been fruit and vegetables lately. It's hard getting good meat out here, and I usually try to preserve what I can find for a special occasion. I don't mind, and I actually like salad and stuff. <laughs> um, right now I'm sussing her out completely. I feel like maybe the dad is just an overprotective dad. I think the witch is bad. That's my last statement. I'm done sussing out the father. I think the witch is bad news. Um. Bet, I mean, mom? Yes? There's no way random lady in the woods is gonna tell me to call her mother. Oh, wait, the music just left. Can I ask you something? Of course, go ahead. There was a lot of scarecrows back in town. Osota was to keep you away. Huh? Mm-hmm. But I'm a scarecrow. Do I, like, hurt you or something? Oh, no, 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 dear. It's true that the scarecrows keep me away. But you're just one little scarecrow. And such a polite one, too. With a smile only someone as cute as you could pull off. You're nothing I can't handle. That sounds ominous. But the amount of scarecrows in your town, my, it's very nauseating. It feels like every home must have one or two sitting outside. I can't stay around that many scarecrows for so long. I'll get terribly sick. I'll collapse. I see. Don't give me that look. Like I said, I can handle a little scarecrow like you. But I want you to be able to see everyone in town, too. I'm sorry, Rio, but I think it's clear that they don't want people like me there. Dang, don't tell me Rio's gonna go back and take all of the scarecrows down and give the witch all the power. Crows? Crows. I felt very bad about that. I'm sure that the town people would like Mom if they got to know her. 
Maybe I can convince them to take all the scarecrows down. Then they'll see she's not bad at all. She even saved me from the nightmare I had. No, I feel like she's manipulating us now. No, 100% I feel like she's manipulating us. Journal, I'm not sure if I should write about it. I hear that writing things down can make you remember them better. But something happened last night. I had a nightmare, I think. I don't know what else it could have been. Even mom said I must have been sleepwalking. But it felt so real and so scary. I can't stop thinking about it even after she told me it wasn't real. It all started last night. I was getting ready to come back home and sleep until morning like I always do, but... What happened? It's raining? Oh my, sounds like quite the heavy storm. Mama, what, what do I do? I like I switched to mama now. Scarecrows get all soapy soupy in the in the in the rain. How am I gonna get home? Well, I'm not sure if you can in that case. You can stay here though if you like if you need to. I cleaned out the storage room to remove anything dangerous, and there's an old bed in there too. But what about my dad? I'm always in bed in the morning. If he sees I'm not home, he's gonna freak out. I'll get in so much trouble. Hmm, I see. How does this sound then? Sleep here for tonight, and right before the sun rises, I'll come and wake you. Then you can run along home before your dad wakes up. Like, just her being behind this whole plan of this little child sneaking out at night and coming to your house. Just you being behind that idea, I feel like that makes you sus, honestly. Does that sound okay to you? Hmm, I guess so. You promised to wake me up on time. I promise. <laughs> Crossing her fingers. Just kidding. And... You, you also took me in. <laughs> you also took me in. That's so cute. <laughs> of course. Mom took me into the storage room. It was a bit cramped and there wasn't any windows. But there was a bed there and it felt warm and cozy. She told me she would come back to wake me up in the morning. Then she left and I went to bed. And then it started. What? <laughs> the freak? What started? Oh my gosh. Huh? Huh? Oh, shoot, my lantern. But that scream, what was that? M Mom? Um, the crate has a large crack in it. It seems like it could open, but not with your bare hand. Maybe if you have something to pry it open with. What the freak is that? The lantern shatter, you don't want to get too close to the broken glass. Okay, I wonder, I, I'm gonna need something to pry open. Ooh, let's go. What is this? There's a piece of paper on the ground. She found my old writing. She hid them from me so I couldn't look at them anymore. She warned me not to do it again. Joke's on you, old hag. I've already, I'm already smarter than you think. Where did that come from? Does that come from the the room, the, the son's room? You check on mom first. Where is mom? I don't know where she, oh, she's in her bed. Sorry. I was like, where is she? Over here. Mom? Nice room you got though. Mom, where are you? It's really dark out, but at least the rain stopped. Is mom somewhere outside? That's green. I'll go look for her, but... I don't think I can get around just from the moonlight alone. I need a lantern, but I broke mine. Maybe mom has something I could use. It shouldn't be too bad, right? All I really need is a lantern and lamp oil. Is it in this handy dandy chest? Oh, a locked chest with a pretty golden rim. You have no idea what could be inside. Okay. A book lies on top of the dresser. In it, it reads, the world can be the way you wish it to be if you wish for it strongly enough. However, it never hurts to ask for a little outside help. Feed your wishes to the gods and they will feed you in return. What is that supposed to mean? Full of stuff, 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 stuff. And we're just looking for like a lantern. So let's see, maybe we can find some type of lantern over here oh wait what's this oh i just drained the the tub a knife i can take it with me i guess but i need to be really careful holding it press space or enter in front of a haystack to destroy it Ooh, progress awesome okay awesome because i was so confused about what i had to do Wait, wait, there's more hay I can attack and destroy. Boom! Just cuz. Just cuz. Boom! Just cuz. <laughs> okay, awesome. But definitely there's a haystack over here we gotta do. 
Boom. There's a trap door in the floor here. I wonder where it goes. Hmm, I can't get it open though, it's locked. Oh wait, there's a spot to input numbers. Do I know what numbers go there? What? Oh. Was there a number? Oh no, guys. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta solve a puzzle. <laughs> okay, we got this though. Oh, run the water. Which temperature? Let's make it hot. Da da da. The mirror has fogged. Hey, let's go. <laughs> I'm accidentally finding stuff. 6428. 6428. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I like how she just she just put that on the mirror just for us to know, you know? 6428. 6428. 6428. There we go. Let's go. I really like how she did put that there though. That's funny. Ooh. More stuff to just slash and slash through. Is this what she hid in her basement? There's nothing here worth hiding, though, for... Ugh. What's that painting? This painting is so lifelike, it feels like its eyes are following you around the room. That's, that's the feeling I got, too, honestly. Oh, is this is this the end room? I want to see if this the other room opens up as well. Oh, it's her potion room. Swords with something red. It smells terrible. Ugh, even dad's worst smell didn't smell this bad. What kind of potion is this? Oh gosh, the door is locked. Looking closer, there's small text on the door. It reads, do you have the time? Input the time? Oh no, that wasn't it. Oh no, I don't know what time it is. Oh, it does follow you. That is so creepy. Ah. Uh... Okay. Okay, let's just go through this little uh, place. I did see something like a, a page at the very end, so maybe that's gonna have the time for us. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I forgot this, this game is slightly a scary game. There's a piece of paper on the floor. No one is safe traveling in the woods, not as long as she is there. They are all doomed the moment they set foot in the forest. I've set up signs to warn them. I don't know if she knows I'm the one who's doing it. Even with warnings, it's still too late for some of them. I, at least, find solace in believing their ghosts will haunt her forever. Oh gosh, I'm guessing that's Faucher? Is this Faucher writing this? I really do feel like it's Faucher. He was able- He was her- her son, and he got away from her. I really do feel like that's the story that's being written here. Ugh. I don't like how some of these are blind! A ladder? Hmm, where can I use this? Um, I, I, me, myself, I don't know where I can use a ladder. Oh, to get the, to climb up the thing. Okay, gotcha. Now I know it. Now I know. Okay, what's over here? Let's see. Let's, let's, let's go through more, more of these blood-ridden stuff. Okay, there's something at the end over here. A drawer. Is there something inside? Whoa, a crowbar. It's kind of small, though. Can I use it anywhere? Yeah, I know exactly where you can use this. Yeah, wait, I can use a ladder here. Awesome. There's some oil! Uh, now I can, Now I just need to find a lantern, and I think that's gonna be in the chest. And open this up. All right, let's see what's inside. What are these things? Are these clock hands? Ah, then these must go, gotcha. Okay, we're doing all of this for a lamp, but it turns out that we already, um, <laughs> we're gonna get the lamp in her, her potion room, I guess. A grandfather clock. Hey, Grandpa, I've got something for you. Have some hands. The clock hands magically move themselves into place. The time reads 12.05. That doesn't seem right, but I'm also not about to argue with the clock. <laughs> 12.05, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's the magic word, or that's the magic number. One, 12.05. Boom, the door unlocks. Awesome, did all this for a lantern. Might as well read the book while I'm at it. There's a book on the dresser. It seems to be some kind of recipe book. It reads, 2,678 bones, 19 and a half gallons, measure about 13 in total. But you can always add more and drink whatever is left over. Oh, is that why she doesn't take me? Because I don't have any bones for her? Ugh. Yay, a lantern. Now I can use this lantern. And then I'll, uh, Go look for mom outside. 
awesome. The shelves are full with strange and magical vials. It looks familiar to stuff Dad has back at home, and yet you've never seen some of this stuff here before. Interesting. It's probably evil, isn't it? I feel like it's all, it's like just straight evilness. Yeah, and then it doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't even tell you what the recipe is for either. Oh my gosh! Oh, that is so creepy. It's called sits in the chair, though you can't recall seeing it in this room before. Oh, that's, that scared me. Oh my, I, I forgot this is a scary game. Oh, no. Something about the painting seems different from before. Maybe you just couldn't see it well in the dark. Yup. That's what it was. It was just because the darkness didn't notice before. Oh my gosh. I actually forgot that this game's a horror game. <laughs> I jumped so much of that. Okay. Let's just leave. Let's go. We got to find Mutcher. It's okay. Don't freak yourself out. It's gonna be fine. Mom said herself that she was strong enough to handle anything out in the woods. So I'm sure she's okay. Let's go. Oh my gosh! What? Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! Rio? Ah! Rio, what's wrong? Are you alright? There's... There's what? Outside! There's... Dead! Someone's outside! Someone's dead outside! Mom! Pardon me? She's on the train and she's all bloody and she's not moving and I think she was attacked. I heard a scream and I thought it was you and I got scared so I tried to find you. <gasps> Calm down, Rio. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Nothing. Rio, there's no one out there. Uh-huh. But, but she... Come look. Okay. Oh my gosh. It was just like she told me. There was no one out there. It was just the forest. But, 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 how can that be? She, she was right there. I saw her. Is it possible that you were just seeing things? Huh? You said you, you said you heard a scream earlier, right? I, I didn't hear anything all night. Oh my gosh, she's evil, guys. She's so evil. Fodger! Help me! But, but, I... I think maybe you were just sleeping walking. Sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? You probably just had a nightmare and stuck on over here in your sleep. It was probably from all the stress. You wanted to go home to your dad, didn't you? Right. I suppose it's only natural to be afraid it's staying here. I like how she's gaslighting us right now. Oh, silly me, trying to be a monster again. I'm not fit to be a mom anymore, am I? No, 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 don't say that. I love coming over and spending time with you. I think you're right. I was just having a nightmare. You know, it it's, isn't raining anymore. And the sun is supposed to rise soon. I can only take you up to the bridge, but... Would you like me to walk you home? Yeah, I really like that. Thanks, Mom. She walked me home and everything felt normal again. I went to bed, woke up, and saw Dad in the morning like normal. I guess it really was just a bad nightmare. But I never had nightmares like that before. Dot dot dot. Dear Journal, I'm gonna visit her again tonight. I have to because I won't be able to see her tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the Harvest Festival. It technically starts at midnight tonight, but we always wait until the next night to have the actual celebration and festival part. On Harvest Night, you're supposed to spend time with loved ones or whatever. And then you start the actual Harvest Festival on the night that follows. I think it's silly, but I don't know. Holidays are always kind of weird. I already spent the day with Dad. And now I spend the night with Mom. So I'm glad in that way. I can still kind of celebrate with her, too. Oh, my gosh. My poor sweet baby boy, Rio. My poor baby boy, Rio. Haley looks saddened. I'll be back soon, Haley. You know we'll include you in all our Harvest Festival activities, right? Why she looks sad? Does she know what's going to happen? Is something about to happen to... Oh. Hey, birdie! Are you the sun? Wait, that actually might be the sun. The sun or the bird has been putting up all those signs to keep people out of the woods. It's the sun the entire time, guys. Hey, you're back. Or the bird the entire time, sorry. I haven't seen you in a while. 
I know what you're looking for, kid. You want something subversive, right? Everyone talks about an evil witch in the woods. So you wanted to befriend her and prove them wrong, right? And then it turns out that it's all one big misunderstanding. She was a good witch after all. Or maybe she was bad. And it just took the kindness of someone else to make her better. That's what all the storybooks teach you, right? Tough luck, kid. It doesn't work that way in the real world. Sometimes people are just evil and there's no helping it. And all the second chances in the world won't make a difference. You keep saying this kind of stuff, but I don't understand. Ever since I met her, she's been nice to me. She helped me get back home, she cooks me dinner, and she teaches me stuff. And what do you do for her in return? Huh? No good deed goes unreturned. She's gonna make you pay her back for those favors one way or another. And I don't think you'll be ready for when that happens. I've given you an extent of my help. Whatever comes next, I hope it works out in your favor. But I don't think I can stick around to see it. Goodbye and good luck. Yeah, that's his mom. Yeah, that that's his mom. That's his actual mom. He's the one that's been warning people of her and putting up the signs. I oh my oh oh I I kind of don't want to see this through. Oh, I, I feel like this is gonna be so bad. Da 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 da. Mom, I'm home. Sorry if I'm late. Happy harvest night. <laughs> Happy harvest night to you too. And no worries, you're right on time. And I'm still getting dinner ready. I'm almost finished though. So you can play around for a little bit if you like, or you can just sit on the table and let me know when you're ready to eat. I shall do that. I shall do that. Sit down for dinner, not yet. I don't know what else I can do. Can I do anything else? Can I wander around? I, I can go in her house. I can, I, oh, the thing's gone. The chest is gone. What was in the chest? Oh no, I wonder if that was something. This is, uh, created a large crack in it. Interesting, the door is still locked. Is there anything else I could do and get? I don't I don't know if there's anything else that I need to do. Other than like seeing, oh look, <laughs> what a box full of unknown content. I like how she just put the box on top of it like, yeah, that'll keep them out. And indeed it does. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else we really gotta look at. Let's sit down for dinner. Ooh, I feel like this is gonna be really bad, guys. So, are you excited for the harvest festival tomorrow? Mm-hmm, it's gonna... Mm-hmm, it's actually gonna be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are gonna be there. <laughs> sounds fun. Dot, dot, dot. I wish I could go to the harvest festival. Is that what you're gonna say? Hey, 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 are you okay? Oh, yes, I was just thinking. Then one day I would like to be able to- Ah! Nah, I knew it! Ah! I knew it! I'm sure we can make that happen. I mean, once everyone in town realizes that you don't mean any harm and stuff. Yes, maybe one day. Still though, I'd like to contribute to the festival somehow, some way. So I made something for it. Oh? oh? I bet you made something that so you can come into the village and kill everyone, huh? It's this. This vial. The liquid inside looks like the red stuff from the cauldron I saw the other night. It smelled awful. The town, there's a statue in the center, right? Of a goddess holding a chalice. Do you think you can pour this vial, vial into the chalice she holds? It's a good luck charm. I made it to ensure a wonderful harvest season for everyone. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, tonight the chalice is gonna fill up with moonlight and it's supposed to have the same effect. Plus, um, I'm not supposed to touch the statue, really. It's considered very sacred, and, um, if I touch it, I could get in trouble for, uh, vandalism and stuff. Please, Rio. I spent a long time on it, and it really mean a lot to me. You don't even have to come back after you do it. You can just go to bed at home. Ah, oh, this is probably what she wanted for. She'd been trying to butter up Rio this entire time so that she can gain his trust and he can go and do her bidding. And then that's all she needed from him. That's why she's like, you don't even have to come back. Dang. It really isn't a big deal, you know? I doubt you would get in that much trouble. And I've done so much for you, haven't I? The gaslighting again presents itself. Can't you do this one favor for me? For your mother? After all, she's done for you. Da da da. Oh. What? No, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Oh, I wanted to save. Oh, I think I already saved, though. 
But it's fine. I guess I decided not to do it. Yay! Pardon me? It wouldn't be right, at least not without axing first. I was always taught to respect the goddess statue, and that the only drink allowed in the chalice is moonlight. Really? After everything I've done for you, I fed you, I housed you, I taught you, and then, and this is how you repay me. As if I owe you any of those things to begin with. I know. I'm sorry, Mom. I can't do it. Then? You cannot be my child. What? Mom? What? What? Death? Death! What is she doing to me? The dead! Dead! Did she remove half my body? Rio? Was that you? Goodness, Rio! The dead. Rio, how did this happen? Your, your leg's there. The dead, she's, she's. Be quiet, Rio. It's okay now. As for you, stay away from my son. Yes! Yes, Foncher for the win! Oh, we love Foncher. We love Foncher! Yes! Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for ever doubting you. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. Dad, you, you, that magic, it was supposed to be for the festival. What are you talking about? The festival? Oh, Rio, don't worry about silly fireworks. You're more important than anything like that. Rio, are you, how do you feel? I'm okay, Dad. I can't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. That's good. That's good. I'm... A little scared, though. What's going to happen when the sun comes back up? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. Here we go, oh my gosh! It won't. I'll make sure it doesn't. Haha, <laughs> don't be silly, Dad. There's no way you can do that. Nonsense. I'll drown this world in darkness if it means keeping you safe. Dad, what should I do? You don't have to do anything. If I sleep... Or, if I sleep, will I be okay? Yes, you'll be... I'll make sure of it. Okay, then I think I'll go to bed now. Yes, yes, that's all right. Good night, Rio. I love you. You'll see me in the morning. The sun won't come up tomorrow. Oh my god. Why do I actually feel like crying at that? Oh my gosh, that was actually so sad. I completely forgot that um, Rio turns into a human when the sun comes back up. So as soon as the sun comes back up, Rio is dead. For real. But you know, maybe, maybe Rio's father was able to do something. But anyways, now we're going to go ahead and continue. This time, we're going to go ahead, sit down, and... um. Day. Oh, of course we're gonna do it! Of course! Okay, so we're gonna take the vial this time. Yeah, of course I'll do it. I mean, it's just a good luck charm, right? There shouldn't be any harm in it. Maybe I'll even bring us extra luck this harvest season, and we'll get giant pumpkins! Aw, oh, I knew I could count on you. Go now. You should feel it before m midnight tonight. I know the results will be so wonderful. I'll be able to see them from here, I promise. Go on, then. I'm so excited. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, no one's out here. All I have to do is climb up on the statue, pour this in, then I'll just go home, like she told me. I know it's nothing bad, but I still feel nervous about it. Oh my gosh, can we go home? Can we turn back? You have to fill the go- oh gosh, oh gosh, let's do it. Or can we go to the library? Can we go to the library? I saw something about the library. Library dad used to bring you here when you were little. He always reminded you to return your books on time. It's a polite thing to do after all. Ugh, no. Let's go. Let's do it. Statue looms over you. Somehow her pose doesn't seem as juvial as it usually does. Hello, Miss Luciana. I got a drink for you. You climb upon the statue and fill the chalice. There you go. It was a present for my mom, so I hope you like it. I'll see you again later for the f Harvest Festival. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Oh, this is going to be so bad, guys. Dot, 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 Yawn! Good morning. Huh? Huh? 
Is it still nighttime? Why haven't I changed back? Dad? D Dad, are you home? Where are you? Oh, freak. Huh? What is this? What happened to the farm? The, the sky? Oh my gosh. What's going on? Oh, I did this. I, I gotta get to town. I gotta find someone. I gotta find Dad. Ooh, this is really bad. This is really bad. Haley! You have anything to say about this? Blood surrounds the grass near Haley's base. Her face is missing. Her body appears we weirdly fleshy. Haley, what happened? <laughs> As if Haley can talk to us. Is there anything else? Okay, I, I don't think we can do anything else. Oh my gosh. What the freak. The, go the goddess is covered in what appears to be blood. The inscription on the plaque has changed. It reads, You had fed the goddess your wishes for the harvest season. She has delivered upon you the season you wished for. May your harvest be a plentiful as you hoped. Oh, is this, is this, oh my gosh. The scarecrow face is dripping with a red substance. His body appears strangely fleshy. <gasps> What's with the window? Something hangs in the window. The sign in the window seems to be implied they are on sale and for a great price. <laughs> the signs describe them as being meaty, juicy, and delicious. Nutritious. While we're at it, any, 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 anybody here? Where is everybody at? Are they in the library? Is that the, like the last place you can go? Cause uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Is, is there? It's locked, but you have the haunting feeling you don't really want to go inside anyways. How bad is the library? What? Mom? Rio, there you are. Oh, <laughs> my baby boy. But mom, what, what hap what's happening? I can't find my dad or anyone. What happened? What happened? The harvest festival is happening. A grand start to an incredible harvest season. And it's all thanks to you. Look at it all. Isn't it beautiful? An endless supply of food. An endless celebration with the finest ambrosia one could ask for. And with us running it all. I have been waiting here for so long. Time and time again, I wonder if I even made the right choice choosing this place. They all said it wasn't worth it, that I should try someplace else. But where else would I be able to reap such a plentiful harvest? All my waiting have finally paid off, and it's all thanks to you, my beautiful, beautiful son. The son I deserved all along. <laughs> I'll be the queen of this world. And I guess that makes you my little prince, then, doesn't it? What's with that face? Oh, don't be so sad, Rio. I've invited all my friends. They'll be here soon to celebrate with us. And I know they'll want to thank you for the wonderful harvest, too. Who's your friends? Bad ending one, Blood Moon Heart. Wait, how do you get a different ending? How do you get a good ending? Okay, so I had to look it up to how to get the good ending. And supposedly how to get it is by, like, is, is by these little, like, yellow um journals so this one that i read first was like the library talking about the library and miss b there's another note over here this like a bright little note rests on top only it. it seems like a journal that was lined with the words it's writing here the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog over and over and over and over and over again. Someone has repeated a sentence over and over again in this book. So yeah, basically what I have to do, I have to go and find all the notes from this mysterious person. And um, I, I kind of missed it before in the bookshelves. There's these like little yellow, very brightly lit yellow books that I did see, but I thought it was just a repeating pattern. So I'd even try to check it out. Anyways, here's another one. This one reads A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, B, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Are they just practicing how to write? The alphabet seems to be written over and over again in a various of different ways. And I can only imagine that this is the bird. I think this might actually be the bird, her son, writing these journals. Because in order to get this ending, you need to keep talking to the bird and keep reading notes. So I'm just going to assume to put two and two together. And I think for this one, oh, I didn't read this one before. My name is Ingram. Ingram is the son. Someone has written their name here multiple times. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So I got that. Let me just get another save file just in case. Just, just, 
just in case, you know? Okay, so they said this is now highlighted. So they said after this is highlighted and you read it, um, supposedly there's a code that changes and you're able to open the chest. Anyway, let's read this. It's another journal. There's writing here, hidden in the fog, in addition to the numbers of the night, if only I could get in right, then I'll be able to unlock it. Okay. And I think I'm able to do that. 616. 616. And then the other side, I'm pretty sure, is the, the mirror. 616. But what would the number be? That, I don't know. But I think I can come over here and input numbers. I'm 100% going to look at the guide real quick, guys, and just get the numbers because I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. Okay, so they put in 744. There we go. I don't know how they... I mean, I, they, they probably just added the numbers together, huh? Anyways, all right. What's in here? There seems to be a collection of books in the chest. They're all children's books, things like educational books and fairy tales. Opening up the covers, you can see the library's signature. Whoa, these are way past overdue. There is a note at the bottom of the pile. If you're reading this and I know you can read this, don't even think about it. Put them back before I burn them. Jeez, okay. Guess I won't be taking any of these. What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> How am I going to get the good ending by doing this? I think I, I, I get the good ending by doing this because, um, um, I think by doing this, I unlock the bird helping me later on. I think. Let me make sure real quick. I don't want to do this wrong. Okay, yeah, I think that should be it. Now we can just go ahead and just ride this to the very end, hopefully. Um, without looking up anything else, because I really don't want to be spoiled for anything. But anyways, let's go ahead, skip straight back to the part where I meet up with the bird again. I hope it comes, but I don't think I can stick around to see it. Goodbye and good luck. Hey, wait! You dropped something. Oh, this was different. This was, I was about to be, like, I was literally losing hope. Like, I was like, oh, no, don't you do it. Don't you do it. This is a key. But no, I can't possibly go to, could it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and I know where this goes to, actually. That's the extent of the spoilers that I know of. Mom, I'm home, you slimy, slimy girl. Just save, and let's go ahead and straight for that red door. <laughs> The key, it has to go here, right? The door is unlocked. Ah, hey, you're here. Oh, hey kid, how'd you get in here? You dropped your key. <laughs> you got me. This used to be my old room. Then does that mean you're Ingram? The person who wrote in those books? Yeah, that's me. So you were mom's son? Her uh, other son? Yeah. I feel like you're coming to this revelation over and over again. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, why are you here? I came by every now and again to collect some old stuff of mine. Not that I had a lot to begin with, but it's not easy to carry these things as little as I am right now. I see. Well, go ahead and look around, kid. I know you're curious. I am curious. Thanks for letting me satisfy my curiosity. An old junior sits on the floor. Um, am I allowed to read this? Meh. Go ahead. <laughs> it might even be better if you do. Um, winter of XXXXXXXXX. It hasn't snowed yet. That makes me happy. It means that I can keep going into town. I used to hate going into town because of all the scarecrows. Honestly, they still freak me out. It's like they're peering into me, drilling their eyes into my very being. They know I don't belong, but despite that, they don't make me feel sick. Not at all. Not like they do to you. I guess that's why you make me go into town instead, huh? Nah, I think even if they did make me sick, you'll force me to go anyways. Dang, terrible mother. I saw Miss B for the first time in a while today. She told me I got so much taller from the last time she saw me. She says she missed seeing me at the library. I was always one of her best students. I learned so quickly. I wonder what your human form looked like. She said she remembered helping me learn to write my name. She started getting a little emotional about it 
I did too. <laughs> learning about learning how to write was honestly probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Even if it comes with its own consequences at home. Dot the dot. That reminds me. I saw a woman in town get mad at her kid today. Outside the bookstore. He was whining and screaming and making all sorts of noises. And she clearly had enough. You could see it in her face. She was mad. Dot dot dot. But she didn't hit him. <laughs> Wait, so are, are you telling me that this witch actually hits... Aw, oh, poor Ingram. She said I was late coming back from town today. I wasn't. And I brought her everything she needed, so she had no reason to get so angry. But by this point, I understand that she doesn't need a reason to be angry. She'll lock me in the storage room all night for looking at her wrong. I'm sure she thinks it's a punishment, but it's not like my room is that much bigger than the storage room to begin with. She's been getting a lot easier to make mad lately, though. I'm not sure why, but it worries me. It's the only reason I'm still here. Getting older, it's, it's apparent now more than ever that somebody has to keep an eye on her. If only I were strong enough to do something about it. Ooh, I feel so bad. Poor little birdie Ingram. I know what she wants to do now, and I know she'll try to make me do it. I refuse. These are people, not her playthings, and certainly not her food. And they're been more of a family to me than she's ever was too many times now i listened to her because i was afraid but this is bigger than me and i won't let her have her way i'm not going to help her do what she wants this is the last straw i'm running away i'm going into town and i'm going to tell everyone about what she's planning i'm not afraid anymore oh is that oh my gosh how did it work out reread the entry oh no no sorry thank you for giving me the option anything else Wooden box filled with stuff that we can't have. An old bed is covered in dust. I don't think there's anything else. Where's the rest of it? What do you mean? <laughs> there is no rest of it. That's all I wrote. But you talk about how you were going to run away. What happened after that? What happened? Uh, she caught me. That's what happened. And it's why I'm stuck like this. She knew I could t try to tell everyone. So she cursed me to stay trapped in my bird form forever. I'm way too small to do anything like this, and not a lot of people listen to the warnings of a silly little bird like me. But you still told me. Yeah, because a kid like you needed to hear it the most. With me out of the picture, you were exactly the kind of person she needed. Still, I... I don't know if I can believe all this. Mom was always so nice, and she... Your curse. Is there any way to reverse it? Heh, <laughs> yeah. But it ain't that easy. What is it? Maybe I can help. Unless you're an expert in sawing the arm off grown women. What? Huh? Only way to reverse this curse is to drink the blood of a family member. Ugh. Curse this half-bird child. Ungrateful is he. If he wishes to fly away, then only a bird he shall be. Drain the sap and blood from your family tree. Ingest it at once and only then you'll be free. I'll never forget it. I hate that stupid dorky rhyme. <laughs> But she set it up this way, knowing that if I ever get too close enough to her to attempt it, she'll crush me easily. Do you want to try some of my straw? It might work. Pardon me. <laughs> I mean, if she's my mom and she's your mom, then that makes us brothers. And when I look like this, well, I don't know. It seems like every part of me is made of straw. My hair, my blood, heck, probably my bones too. So, maybe if you eat some of my straw, it'll work the same way. Dot, dot, dot. You're joking, right? I mean, it might not, it might not work, but isn't it at least worth trying? It's just straw. The worst that could happen is that you ate some hay. Eh, all right. Freak it. <laughs> Give me a straw. <laughs> Come on, it's not that hard to eat. I used to eat leaves all the time before Dad told me to stop. Freak. <gasps> It actually worked? What? <laughs> it worked. Holy heck, it did work. Come on, kid, let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, I can't leave yet. Mom is still waiting for me out there. Ugh, you don't want that woman as your mom, kid. Don't you see that by now? Look what she did to me the second I said no to her. What do you think she's going to do to you? Stop yelling so much. Even, even, if, even if mom isn't as nice as I thought. 
Does that really mean I can just leave? Of course you can. <laughs> yes, get out of your Disney story mindset. Leave. I'm giving you an I'm giving you an out right now. How about the window and we'll go back to town? Leave this old witch to rot in the woods by herself. But she'll be waiting for me out there. Ugh. I should have known you'd be difficult about this. I'm trying to save you from my fate. Or heck, even for worse. But of course you wouldn't get it. You're just a kid. Yeah, and you're just a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, isn't trying to run away exactly how you got caught? Ugh. Jeez, kid. All right, I get it. But what are you going to do then? True. Re Re Rio has a point with that running away part. She's going to ask you to do something there for her, you know? It's harvest night and she's been planning for it. If you try to refuse her, I'll figure it out. Now I'm a smart kid after all. And mom, maybe it won't be as bad as you think. Don't place your bet on it. I'll be waiting for you outside. Whatever you do, get out of the front door safely, all right? Uh, what are we about to do? Are we about to do something risky? What are we about to do? Uh, I'm surprised she hasn't noticed that I was just gone. Just missing. Just like, out of the picture. I'm gonna save again real quick. Okay, I'm going to sit down for dinner, mommy. Gonna sit down for dinner. Are you excited for the Harvest Festival tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> so let me see if anything changes. She's gonna try to gaslight us like usual. So let's see if she um um what what changes. <gasps> sabotage! Sabotage, let's do it. Sure, sure, I'll take it. Let me just uh, uh I dropped it! I'm so sorry, Mom, it was an accident, but but it isn't all bad. I just go back home and tell everyone, you dropped it. <laughs> she didn't even give me time! I know I, you dropped it on purpose. <laughs> Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> no, no, of course I don't. I just, outrageous. All my children know how to disappoint me. Mom? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Huh? Nine. Nice try. <gasps> Get out of here, kid! Oh no, Ingram, don't do it! Don't do it! Ah! Don't just sit there, go! I'm gonna take care of it. No. No! Ingram! You. Look at you. Doing what you know best. Getting in my way. You always was a disappointment to me, Ingram. Not going to say anything. Not even in your own mother. You can't scare me anymore. That's the real reason you cursed me, isn't it? Because you knew you couldn't scare me anymore. And when I'm not scared, I'm stronger than you. Ha! Huh, we'll see about that. You know, Ingram, despite all the heartache you caused me, I am still a parent. <laughs> the heck? What are you doing? Get your ugly claws out of my mouth! Did it make you feel better to say that? Are you happy now? It may be hard for you to see, but I am your mother, and there is nothing a mother loves more than to see her child, children happy. So won't you do your poor old mother, lady, some good, and smile for mommy? <gasps> Did dad? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Come on dad, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, my friend needs help! Mm, Rio is is it morning already? I could have sworn. Rio, what is this? You 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 weren't supposed to. I know, I know. I wasn't supposed to go out at night, and I'm sorry. I really am sorry about it. But my friend, he's in trouble. He needs help. If we don't hurry, she might. No. <gasps> I took care of it. She can't hurt anyone anymore. But if it's not not too much to ask, I I I need help. I need help. I need help. I need help. <gasps> oh my gosh, with a little something else. Please tell me you can help. Please tell me, Fodcher. Please tell me you can help. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did the fireworks. All well is end well. Woo! Yay! Happy ending! Is Ingram okay? Are we just gonna elephant in the room? Oh, okay, we just sewed it up. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> he got a brother. I love it. Rio got a brother. That is so adorable. I love... Ah! <laughs> what are you smiling about? Happy to see the fireworks. 
or happy we managed to survive last night with our butt still intact. <laughs> All my friends may have moms, but none of them have a big brother like I do. <laughs> yeah, we're brothers. I don't really think I could deny that at this point. I'm sure anyone can see the family resemblance. I mean, look at us. <laughs> they both got the little the little stitches. That's so adorable. We got the same smile, don't we? Aww. True ending a smile to match my own. <laughs> Round of applause. I love this. I love this. I want to say this is like maybe, maybe like one of the best ones. Oh my gosh. Like I, oh man, I love this game so much, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Again, I freaking love Arcade Kitten. Two bits. Love the creator of these games. I love it. And I feel like this might be honestly one of my favorites, honestly. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, definitely let me know what you guys thought about Crow Scare. Um, who's your favorite character? What part did you like the most? Did you almost shed a tear like me? Let me know in the comments, everything. But as for now, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.